Hello everyone, my name is Mandeep Barmi. I'm from uh, ASA Driving School in uh, Winnipeg. This video we are doing in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. So in this video, we're going to talk about um, MPI mandatory two-hour driver training. Now it's a new policy. If you fail your driving test four times in Manitoba, then you're required to do a four, uh, you're required to do a two-hour driving lesson uh, before you can book your fifth road test. And if you fail your fifth road test, you will be required to do another two hour driver training before you can book your next driving test. So what's going to happen uh, if you, let's say uh, you're in Manitoba and you uh, took your driving test four times. Uh, unfortunately, you did not pass for whatever reason. Um, you will get this paper from your uh, driving examiner. Now, you can also print it online. So, OK, so if you do not get this paper from your examiner, you don't need to freak out. You can print it online. Uh, I will put the link in the disc, uh, description below and then uh, you take this paper to a certified driving school. Now it's very important that you take this paper to a certified driving school. You don't want to find someone, uh, you know, just not a random person from Kijiji who is not a certified driving instructor uh, because he won't be able to complete this form. Um, so make sure it's a certified driving school like uh, myself, um, you know, my school and um, so you you can give me a call or send me a text message uh, you guys see the number on the screen um, so we will complete a two hour in-car driving lesson and after that i will complete this form so you can take this form to mpi or any auto pack broker and then you can book your fifth uh, driving test so now the other thing i want to do uh, in this video just drive around a little bit as well um, you know, it's unfortunate um, you did not pass four times, but uh, my job is to help you guys out and uh, Hopefully, uh, you know next time when you go for your driving test you can uh, pass your uh, driving test without any issues So let's uh, drive around a little bit um, um, You know in this neighborhood look at uh, how to drive in a parking lot uh, Look at some left turns right turns uh, maybe residential area as well and uh, then we will go from there all right, so if you have any questions, uh, post your questions uh, in the comments below. And uh, if you want to book a driving lesson, uh, you guys see the number on the screen. Um, you can give me a call or send me a text message. Again, uh, we are doing this video in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. And the rule that we are talking about, like if you fail your driving test four times, you're required to do a um, two hour long driving lesson before you can go for your next driving test. Now, this rule is only in Manitoba, as far as I know, okay? So if you live in a different province, you're in Alberta, Ontario, states, um, um, you know, most likely it's not gonna apply there, okay? So you just have to be, um, just, just wanted to let you know. All right, so let's get going. Um, seat belt on, mirror is already good, and uh, car is on, so let's go. So now car is in drive, and I wanna go this way. So I will signal left. Any directional changes that you're doing in, um, in a parking lot, you're still required to signal and um, look around, okay? So you wanna do a good uh, check on both sides, make sure it's empty, and uh, when it's clear, that's when you go. Now, if you don't put the signal on, you know, that, that will be a minor mistake. Uh, sometimes it's, it can also be a critical error, it just depends on, uh, on the situation parking lots you keep your car on the right hand side unless you see a sign showing it's a one-way street so we're gonna be exiting this parking lot from here now normally we don't see a sign um, when you exit like a stop sign when you exit uh, from a parking lot but you're still required to do a full stop before the sidewalk so I did a complete stop here now I'm checking on both sides there's no pedestrian cyclist on the sidewalk now I can creep forward uh, to look at the traffic so it looks empty and now we are good to go. Now some people they actually fail in the parking lot, okay? Uh, because they drive in the wrong lanes or um, uh, sometimes when they try to exit, like they don't do a full stop before the sidewalk and they don't um, uh, do a proper check, uh, you know, before they go on the road. So let's go left at traffic light. So mirror check, signal, shoulder check, looks clear. Uh, one more shoulder check because we are changing multiple lanes. Uh, light so far it's green but now it changed to amber so that means I have to come to a complete stop now you don't want to go through a amber light um, if um, you know if you're still behind the stop line if you have time to stop if it's safe to stop you should be stopping okay so you don't try to beat the light um, otherwise that will be an automatic fail 
so on this intersection we we have a separate light for left turns um, I'm not sure if you can if you can see that in the camera or not but the light on the left hand side you know it's only for left turns uh, we see four circles in it and the base of the light is also black in color um, again this rule is only for Manitoba okay so black light that I'm explaining it's only for Manitoba if you're in a different province most likely it's gonna not not going to apply now we see a um, green arrow there so that means we are good to go okay so you always want to go in your first lane first unless uh, there is something happening in the first lane if there's construction going on parked car uh, if the first lane is not available then you can go in the next lane so let's do another left turn at traffic light so left signal shoulder check is optional here because it's a new lane and i am you know entering in the lane right way so if you enter in the lane when it starts um, then shoulder check is optional light is green i have to establish in the intersection so i go in the intersection now the intersection is clear that means i'm good to go speed limit sign on the right hand side maximum 60 kilometers now if you don't establish okay so let's uh, talk about that left turn so i had a green light i was only one turning left over there and let's say if i decide to stop before the stop line instead of going in the intersection that will be an automatic fail because if your light is green you are the first car okay uh, you have to go in the intersection you have to claim the intersection and then it depends on the traffic right uh, if there is oncoming traffic or pedestrian crossing then you stop in the intersection but if the intersection is clear um, then you just go through the intersection without um, stopping in the middle um, yeah so if you don't establish in the intersection that's an automatic fear um, I have done some other videos on left turns so if you're new to my channel you can uh, subscribe to uh, subscribe to my channel because there are a lot of videos that I did about the left turns uh, showing where to establish when to um, clear the intersection um, and talking about like different situations as well so you definitely want to you know go through those videos uh, so we will from this intersection we will go straight and uh, now we are just waiting for the green light now i suggest like in the driving test um, you keep both hands on the steering um, you know um, when you're waiting for the green light check left and right before uh, when the light turns green uh, before you start moving you always want to do a quick check to the left to the right to make sure cross traffic has stopped now on the next uh, traffic lights uh, we will be turning left again now this road is a little bit bumpy so uh, i'm just going a little bit slow speed limit here is 60 kilometers but um, those speed limit signs are posted for posted uh, for ideal conditions so when the road condition is good like in this case the road condition was not very good because the road was bumpy so i was only doing about uh, 50 kilometers traffic lights uh, we will be turning right so right mirror check signal shoulder check looks clear and now we can go in this lane light is green and there's no pedestrian crossing so that means i'm good to go i'm keeping my car close to the curb stop sign we will be turning right again so when you're about 30 meters from the intersection that's when you put the right signal on and do a complete stop before the stop line check left and right now we stopped before that white car and we are also on the right hand side of that white car so that means we get the right of way now if it's your right of way you want to take it okay because if you start hesitating a lot um, that can become automatic fail as well so just going to park on the left hand side so left signal on and um, we're gonna park here now this parking is also part of your test. A lot of people think um, this parking is not um, included in the test. It is included in, in the test because when you come back after driving, you have to park your car somewhere, okay? And if this parking is not good, perpendicular parking is not good, you can still fail your driving test. Um, I had actually, um, you know, uh, one or two students failing in this parking. They did like really good in the entire driving test their parallel parking was perfect their driving was perfect and when they were trying to park here um, they were not in the lines if you're not in the lines it's not a problem okay because you can always correct it but 
the mistake that they made uh, they start backing up without checking okay so anytime when you reverse you don't have a right of way so you have to look uh, you know you have to check traffic and you shouldn't be only looking in the mirror if you're just looking in the rear view mirror it's not good when you're backing up okay um, you can look in the rear view mirror but you still have to check on both sides you have to check left right because the mirror doesn't show you everything um, yeah so my student um, unfortunately you know they start backing up without checking and there was another car behind them and um, and then they failed so you want to definitely practice this parking as well uh, you know practice exiting from uh, this parking spot and make sure when you before you exit you check left right because you want to make sure there's no pedestrian behind you no other uh, no other traffic um, so that's it for this video uh, everyone and uh, again uh, my name is Mendy Burmi uh, this video we are doing in uh, Winnipeg uh, Manitoba and uh, we were talking about um, new MPI policy where you fail uh, if you fail your driving test four times you are required uh, to take a two hour long in car driving lesson after that and um, they will give you this form so you have to take this form to a certified driving school and uh, they will complete the form and then then you take this form to MPI center or any auto pack broker and um, to book your next turn driving test so if you guys need driving lessons uh, give me a call send me a text message and uh, I will be more than happy to help you guys out Thank you very much and I will see you guys again.